Look, I don't have nothing to do with this. I understand you're scared, but I will handle this. Is that this home invasion, gangs proceeds from dope and guns? And he's a scorpion. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another The Shy video if you're new. Make sure you all leave your theories, comments, everything down below in the comment section. If you're a fan of The Shy, if you love The Shy, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you can always see when I'm dropping some content so you never miss any The Shy news. Now, this is going to be a video about Brandon, Jason Mitchell's character. I just want to talk about something man this is the topic of discussion this has been going around i've been getting a lot of messages from a lot of my subs and a lot of my followers on instagram they've been telling me to make a video about this and they just want me to ask the people man will the shy survive without brandon on the show as all of you shy fans know jason mitchell got fired from the show because of the allegations going around I don't have to go into detail about it. Just look it up on Google. If you don't know what's going on, look it up on Google. Go to his social media. Watch his interviews with The Breakfast Club and all types of other interviews. It'll tell you what you need to know. But yeah, long story short, he got fired because of allegations. Now, so far, there's been two episodes of The Shy, season three. And they started off the season with a wedding and then it went straight to Brandon's funeral. Now, they didn't even say how he died or nothing. That's the one thing that's kind of irritating me. Like, I would at least want to know how he died, what happened. Like, we need the info. We need the information. Yes, Jason Mitchell got fired from the shy, but that doesn't mean we don't need an explanation. Because Brandon was very important to the story. I mean, he was the main character. Like, literally, in my opinion, I think he was the top main character. I mean, yes, they have Emmett. They have Ronnie. They have all those types of people that which it seems like they're a main character, but really they're not. They're not the main, main character. And if you guys watch Jason Mitchell's interview, he even goes into detail about him and Lena Waithe, the creator of this show. He goes into detail about how they made up a little business plan a while ago. Like he met her at some event or something and they spoke about doing this show and she made it happen and she made him the main character. And now ever since this stuff happened with Jason Mitchell and his allegations, she even said that she's not going to do any business with him ever again, probably. So that must really hurt um, Jason Mitchell that he knows that he's never going to be able to do any projects with her ever again. When he started this show with her and he's pretty much what made the show what it was because Jason Mitchell... You know, he blew up, man. He was in Superfly. He was in Straight Outta Compton. He had all those big ass roles. His career was really taking off, man. And for you to just throw it all away like that, like, damn, bro. Um, Jason Mitchell should have made some better decisions. We don't know if everything was true that he got accused of, man. But, like, you know, if he's getting accused of that much stuff by a whole bunch of different women, hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know what to believe. Some of it had to have been true, but his career was taking off. It was skyrocketing, and he was getting roles after roles. And it just really sucks to see this because he has a lot of talent, man. Everything that he's in, um, I'm never bored watching him on the screen. I can tell you that right now. Everything that he's in, I love to see him in. Um, he's a talented young actor, and I don't know if he's going to be acting anymore because of what he did. So it just really sucks to see this happen to him. But I just don't know if the shy is going to be able to last without Brandon. In my personal opinion, so far, the first two episodes, I think they're doing pretty good without Brandon. But I'm still so used to Brandon being on the show. Um, it seems like Emmett's trying to take over um, the food part of the show. Now they got Luke James's character, Trig. He's going to be a big part of this season. They got Duda, of course. They show him 
Um, and Kevin and Keisha's storyline, that's a major part of this season. So we also have Ronnie, who's going to be trying to change this season. Hopefully he stops the drinking, but we know he's going to try to find Keisha. But there's just a lot of things going on this season. And I honestly think, in my opinion, that they'll be able to do it without Brandon. Of course, it's not going to feel like the same show that it was the first two seasons. No show in existence is going to feel like the same show if they fire one of the main characters and then they hire new actors to come onto the show. No show would ever feel like the same show, but, you know, they can still make it great. They can still make it good because this is just overall a great show. So my question to the people, my question to my subs is, do you think The Shy will survive without Brandon on the show? In my personal opinion, yes, I think it'll do good. I think it'll do great because it seems already like it's getting good ratings and people are loving the first two episodes. And in my personal opinion, I feel like the first two episodes were fire as hell. I really enjoyed them. So my question to y'all is, do you think the show will survive without him? Comment down below in the comment section and let me know. Comment your thoughts and everything about this whole Jason Mitchell thing and his allegations. Comment down below what you think about it, man. Just let me know. I want to hear from you guys. Now, the first two episodes, they were good as hell, man. I can't wait for the next eight episodes. I'm really waiting for next week's episode, episode three. But yeah, man, I just feel like the show is still going to do good without Brandon. I wish Brandon was still on the show. But it is what it is. You know, he got accused of stuff and nobody wanted to work with him. So it is what it is. We just have to deal with it and we just have to watch the shy. I know a lot of people said they weren't going to watch the shy anymore because of this. But to be honest, if you guys are listening to this, the people who said they weren't going to watch it, just give it a chance because it's still just as good as it was. Just please give it a chance. I just want to thank all y'all, man, for all the love and support, man. I just started this new channel back in March, and I'm already up to 12K subscribers, so I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you guys for showing me all that love. Thank you for supporting me on my journey and supporting me through all my power videos, my shy videos, and everything else, man. So I appreciate y'all to death. I really do, man. Thank y'all, and keep supporting your boy. I'll be continuing to bring y'all more of the shy content in the future. If you guys want to donate to the channel to help support the channel, I got links in the description to do so. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Track back, jumping on.